right here in front of us is the old main route for logging but they're moving it over to the left to avoid this massive hill that always washes out in the rain we're gonna go look at. Here we are on top of the big hill, just covered in potholes. That's why the road is so wide. People just keep moving the road over to the side, running over the plants to avoid the potholes. Years ago, there used to be a giant gate right here. Pretty rocky here. A lot of shallow bedrock. They're not really grading this much. It's better to keep it very rocky. It won't wash out as easily. Now we're getting to the point there's some big rocks in the road. And from people avoiding the big rocks, you're gonna see it kind of zigzags back and forth. Yeah, like over here, you can see where people are driving. What is that? Look at all that oil spilled all over the road. Looks like somebody with a car maybe smashed their oil pan. That wasn't there last night when I took this. Big streak of oil. You know what? I bet I saw the car that did this because there was a tow truck driving by where I was camping up here last night with a with this tiny car up on the bed driving back and the tow truck I remember it specifically because the tow truck was traveling like really slow like 10 miles an hour because the tow truck had a flat tire in the front and they mustn't have had a spare or a way to communicate so I guess they were driving back slowly on the rim and they certainly had to replace that. But you see, there's a lot of zigzags required on this. It's actually fairly good now. I took this in the spring and it was, you had to crawl at like one mile an hour. It was so ruddy from the rain. They kind of fixed it. Like, like up here, sometimes I have hit things up here and every single time I've had anything scrape against the bottom of the vehicle, I get out immediately and look underneath there. And if I see, if, if I would ever see oil dripping, I'd shut the engine off immediately. Apparently whoever did that didn't. It looks like they went on for quite a while. And right here, there's a whole bunch more potholes on the bottom because this area here, judging by there's a big wetland here and some shallow culvert pipes. That probably floods right there. You can see it was kind of wet. And pretty soon, it reconnects to where we just switched off. A whole bunch more potholes. This route is less mileage. It's shorter, but the other way is faster because you can travel full speed, 45 miles an hour is the speed limit. Here you gotta really slow down, no matter what vehicle you have. Now we can kind of speed up only to hit more potholes. Two miles of pothole filled road later, we're back out to their new main road. Nobody coming. And spin around. And I'm going back on the bumpy road. Stabilization is allowing you to see how bumpy that really is. At least on a dirt road, most of the bumps have smooth edges. It's not like on a paved road, the potholes will pop your tires. These, it's just like a long wobble. And we're back to the big hill. Now with this bottom view, you can really see how everyone's zigzagging back and forth around everything. Going back up. There's 
use that dirty oil trail. Let's follow the oil trail. What did the guy hit? Right now I'm running over some bedrock that would have to be jackhammered or scraped out of the way. left isn't really anything high, it's just bumpy, a ton of rocks. Up here in the center of the road, there's a huge one right there. Look at that, some of the potholes. Yeah, that rock right there is protruding over a foot high. I must have taken this road eight times in the past week. Oh, look at this. This is what looks like where the guy just let loose. I'm going around a few things right here that I don't trust myself over. Okay, this is what the guy did. It started spilling right there, but a guy must have went flying over. You see that big high rock right there in the center of the screen? He must have hit that. That's the only high thing right here, and I'm going around it. It's sticking up. Yeah, it looks like something hit it. There's a scrape against it. On this vehicle, my clearance is only about eight or nine inches. I don't take any chances with those bumps or those rocks. gate used to be. You still see some of the latches on it. Right here we got the big wide area. Pretty smooth on this side. They're still maintaining it, but not as good as the main route that they've now moved to. Now this part of the road is just plain dangerous. There's no gravel really, it's just dirt. And you see right here, it's so dry, you just sink way down into it and you can lose control. It's more like sand in that area. They just rebuilt all the drainage ditches. You see off to the sides, they're extremely deep. They just got re-dug out. So if you go off this road, you're gonna fall into like a four foot deep ditch. Tell by all the rocks covered up, it's extremely dusty if you pass another vehicle. Like, you actually have to stop. You can't see a thing if a big truck passes you on this. All new culverts. They just rebuilt the road. They haven't really put down much gravel yet. Although, two days ago, it got so bad, they sent a tanker truck with sprinklers on it. It looks like we're back to the old road temporarily just for this bridge they stopped digging. <laughs> 